Hi, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to use a JSON file as a server for fake API in React.js. So this uh, uh, is usual when we want to test our application without relying on the real API. We don't need a real API here. We will test our application with this file. This file run as a server with as. So by using this JSON file as a fake API, we can easily mock API response and test different scenarios without making a real API calls. So let's create this. So first of all, we will create a file in our React app. Okay, that is db.json. I hope I named it db.json. Then I have just wrote a few records in it. We have these records and after that we will install json server to install that we will simply write npm install json server after installing you will see that in the package.json see here let's come here see json.server i have already installed it so now we will run our json server to run the json server we will simply write json server watch db.json and assign a foot to this 3031 this boot i will assign to that so let's run it see our server is running so now let's check it see we have these three cards in it okay this is the url this is localhost slash users so now let's uh, create a program to fetch data from our server I will come here and just try it. This and I will use the use effect hook. To fetch the data in it, okay. So let's write ready dependency and now here I will write. I will fetch the data now. So I will use access library for fetching the data. Okay, access. I access is imported dot git. So here I will write the URL. See let's copy this url and let's paste it here after it we will get a response dot then we have a response and so now let's assign our data to a variable i will create a state const that would be data is equal to set data i will use use effect use state hook and it is in array type with us so now let's assign our data to that set data. I will just write result dot data. Assign all the data. And if there was any errors, we catch that. Okay, error. So we can solve that error. Yeah, we fetch our data and we store that in this data variable. So now let's display that records. So to display that, I will create a table for that. And I will assign a class name to this that would be table and here I will just uh, we can uh, pick the columns also dynamically so I will just write it manually the we have ID name and email will come here to head section ID and name email so now we will fetch our data so i will use body so here i will use map function data dot map and here we will have data and in, in, in index so let's write return create this tag and assign a key to this that would be i and now let's print our data in a td tag here we will print our data d dot id and same to that email and name name and after that email and before this i will just add it container and margin tab would be i uh, let's run our server npm start <coughs> so 
so first I should import this JSON server in index page and let's import it JSON server and let's get this and I will use it instead of table let's save it so now let's come to the Chrome and let's refresh our page we have this data okay see that ID name and email and we have these data so we got the data from our server using the API okay so same to this so you can use post and delete and update with this server so you can do that easily so it was creating the JSON server uh, so if you have liked this video please subscribe our YouTube channel and thanks for watching